Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Let Me Be Frank. Hey, just want to thank y'all for watching today. Today's a great episode. Today I will be talking about taking ownership. That's right, taking ownership. What do you mean taking ownership, Frank? Well, what I mean is stop blaming everybody else. Matter of fact, assume control of everything. I got a list of things I want to talk about. I only got about a short time here to tell you. So I want y'all to listen closely and I hope this will help at least one person today. Assume the control of everything. That means stop taking the victim. Here's the end. Don't assume things just happen just to be happening. Get in the mindset that it happened because of you. Extreme. There's an accident on the road. You're trying to get to work. Even though you leave at your normal time to get to work early, but there's an accident and now you're late for work. Now, you can go ahead and blame that the accident happened and caused you to be late for work, or this is taking ownership. Maybe I should have left a little bit earlier. Hey, maybe I should have checked my Google Maps because everybody got a high tech phone. Let me check my Google Maps, see if there's an accident on the road. Maybe I should leave a little bit earlier. Maybe I could have done this so I can make sure I'm on time. Maybe I should have left about 15 minutes early. Hey, who knows? Maybe I should have took a different route. That's taking ownership. Don't be the victim. A lot of victims say these things like, oh, look what happened to me. Uh, uh, oh, poor is me. Oh, uh, uh, I'm the victim. Oh, it's their fault. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, it's them, not me. Now, if you don't take ownership, basically, how can that help you in life? There is a high volume car dealership. I'm not going to mention any names, but there is a company within that high volume, most popular car dealership. They do all the detailings of their new cars and used cars and washing, detailing and everything. For the past six months, their performance in the cleaning department has been lackluster and constant complaints about it from the sales reps, from the management team, all the way to the GM. This is not taken care of. We need somebody to do this. Let's come on. Let's do the out. You know what? Even had salesmen that took ownership and said, I do it myself and started cleaning these cars. And they got there more customers, more more rep on referrals, more business because they took ownership and made sure the problem was fixed. You know what this guy had to say? He didn't even take ownership. He didn't apologize. He started blaming the sales reps for complaining. And you know what the owner said to the GM? He said, well, do what you got to do. He said, but I wouldn't trust your sales reps. Now, how did that sound? How did that sound? Instead of taking ownership, being the man, going out there, making sure that his employees do an awesome job. He could have went a step further and had a contract loaner and came out there and washed the car himself. What's wrong with that? Is he too high mighty to go out there and do those type of things? He ain't doing the 10X rule. He ain't got no confidence of a champion. He ain't doing the power of consistency. So what happened? He loses the business. By the way, the dealership is getting a brand new building. A brand new building. A stage three is the top of the line, most popular in that city. And they gave the business to another contractor to do their detail work. Now this guy, because he didn't take ownership, he didn't take responsibility, he became the victim, he started blaming everybody else, now he lost millions of dollars. Hey guys, part two coming up. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs>